Hi, I'm Kyra Lombaja and welcome to another Wednesday Lens Day video where I'll be talking about M42 mount lenses. Now last week when I was talking about an introduction to basic vintage glass and using it for your cameras for filmmaking and photography, there was actually a ton more footage um, that was recorded. And one of those bits of footage that I didn't manage to fit into last week's episode was about M42 mount lenses, uh, predominantly the Carl Zeiss Jenner lenses that I had, the 50mm 2.8 and the 135mm f3.5. Fact of the matter is there was so much stuff shot for last week's episode that it'd be a shame to not put it all in. And this does not mean in any way that I haven't shot anything yet for another lens day. Wednesday. The M42 mount is actually a very, very cool mount. I'm just going to show you that right now. I'm going to pop this out. This is the mount I got. I bought this at Amcop at, I can't remember the name of the shop. So, where's the dot? There we go. Pop that on there. Now, M42, it's a screw mount because it's 42. That's a 42 millimeter screw. So, I just pop that. There, screw it. And done. This Carl Zeiss Jenner, Tessa 50mm 2.8. Just gonna record some footage with this wide open. Let me record that. Just gonna go through the viewfinder so that I can focus this a little bit better. But yeah. It has a different look to it, as you can see. But they all have the little quirks, the little cool things about them. You know, one thing that I like about this lens though, especially, is that the focusing distance is insane. It's 0.35, yeah, 0.35 meters. So, like there, I don't have to click some other macro thing. Like, can you see how close I am to that? It's, and that is in focus. You know, it's not the fastest lens in the world. But, sometimes like 2.8 is actually a good aperture to have because it's a lot easier to focus in on. There you go. And you see how many times I'm turning that thing so you can really find your sweet spot on it. I'll just go over there. And you see how the, it's got a very nice bokeh to it. So I'm going to focus in on some of my toys. There we go. Sorry about the shakiness, but as you can imagine, this is pretty tough to handle. Um, yeah, and it's one of those lenses where wide open, it's very, very usable. Still very, very usable. You know, and um, I like this mount. M42 mounts, uh, they're nice and small. I mean, look at that. That's, that's just really handy. It's like a nice size to carry around. The other lens I like, and this might be a bit headache inducing, is the other M42, the 135. Now I took a bunch of photos with this lens at the Latin American Festival. Oh, it's a gorgeous lens. At first I was kind of worried because it's a 3.5. That's not really the fastest lens, like the, where are you? This, the Canon FD 135, this is a 2.8, you know? Uh, it's roughly about the same size, and it's got a very nice look to it. But this is also very, very nice. I'm going to have to change the ISO a bit here. <laughs> Let me just see if I can focus in on the camera that is filming me. Apologies again for the shakiness. Well, there we go. Darth Vader over there. And here's another thing with these old lenses. The way lenses are designed these days, they've really managed to advance the way that lenses are coded so that you get really good contrast. Um, it's not too prone to flaring. A lot of these lenses like this 50 milli 1.4, like if you're trying to shoot at 1.4 in daylight, you know, your lens will fog up with flare. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Um, but it can look cool, especially in like photography. But if you look at the, I'm just gonna try and, well, you see that? The way it's flaring outwards like that, that is kind of pretty. And that's the thing with these old lenses as well, is that they all have their own unique characteristics. And this one flares in this unique kind of way, and then there are a whole bunch of other 
lenses that flare in different ways as well. That is actually quite cool. I should try and play with that a little bit more. I'm going to use that in something someday.